I just met with my doctor yesterday and my tumor has shrunk in half. This is what it looked like before. It was about five something centimeters long. And now this is what it looks like after. As you can see, it has lost all of its roundness and it is all squishy. So thank you guys so much for all of your thoughts and prayers. Still have a long way to go, but this is a huge. So thank you guys. And with that, I have a really big announcement coming this week. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey everyone. Um, I didn't mean to do this on April Fools. Um, this is definitely not a joke. I wish it was. Um, but uh, you know, I've already told some people about what's going on, and you know, word kind of spread. So I just I wanted to update you guys on what's been going on in my life and kind of get ahead of it and. Like, you know, firsthand, um, there's no easy way to talk about this, but unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, I was diagnosed with a synovial sarcoma, what seems to be a sarcoma, um, uh, which is a muscle cancer. Um, and it's in my neck, and, um, you know, it's very scary. Uh, you know, these cancers, I guess, seem to be rare, so... You know, there's like a one in one million chance of me getting this. Like only a couple hundred people are diagnosed in the U.S. every year with this cancer. So it has been um, pretty terrifying. You know, you just don't ever think you're going to be like in your 20s with this. Um, and um, I was able to get in with some people at Sloan Kettering in New York. And they kind of reassured me with some tests and stuff that it uh, thankfully, like Lord willing, has not spread. <laughs> Um, that they just need to take it out and that they don't think I'm going to have to do any radiation or chemo and I'll be good to go. Uh, but unfortunately, because of the placement of it, it is, they're going to have to take out some muscles and ligaments and stuff here, which means I'm, I might lose some motor skills and I'm going to lose some feeling in my left arm, which, uh, you know, as a musician is like the last thing that you want to hear. But, um, I am hopeful. Thank you so much for watching our videos and subscribing to this channel. Cat Genesis singer who released their dance track from her spice has died at the age of 31. The TikTok writer around that singer who revealed during her cancer treatment that she had transferred the rights of her final songs to her son as an inheritance of sorts. Cat Genesis, a singer and a songwriter who released the buoyant purple track from a spice that galvanized the thousands of supporters online to sway and even groove in the face of the tragedy died on Wednesday at her family home in Anandera Vash. She was only 31. The cause was Sokoma according to Williams Ibsen, her brother, the singer and the mouth instrumentalist whose legal name was Catherine Ibsen started writing music as a teenager and released it throughout her 20s but dance you out of my head which is shared on social media alongside the candid discussions on her grueling cancer treatment quickly became the biggest hit of her career of a disco influenced guitar and exuberant string she sang about dancing on the edge of the disaster Miss Ibsen raised the song on June 19th, a few days after entering the space. The song called Fire has her health outlook darkened, with the social media users, including celebrities like Jason Delulo, leaving message of support. It became a common soundtrack on TikTok after Miss Ibsen encouraged their followers to stream the song as a way of supporting her seven-year-old son, Lauren. After her death, I am leaving this song behind for my son, she wrote on TikTok. In another post, she said she had changed all the rights from my songs, so every preserve of every stream goes to Lauren. I am praying my story isn't over yet, she wrote in a post of her birthday and the day after the song was released, but it if it is, this is a pretty incredible way to say goodbye. Catherine Jane Ipsum was born on June 20th, 1993, and 
one of the four children of the musical family outside Washington, D.C. She played the violin and piano. We all her brother sometimes accompanied her on drums. Their mother was a radio DJ who instilled a love of music in her kids. Mr. Epson, 27 years, said in an interview this month, he would be singing every lyrics to the egos of the Beatles in all the oldies.